my name is Eco. The planet where I live is very comfortable, except for one big problem. It's too boring. Where can I find something more exciting? Huh? What's that blue planet? Wow! What is all this? Tasty food, fun video content. Just looking at it all gives me a rush of dopamine! I've got to look up that place right away! Oh, where is it? Earth? My name is Romy. I have to take classes at school all day and then rush to my part-time work. It's exhausting and I'm so tired. Would you believe that the greatest scientist in human history was an alien from Venus? <laughs> what? There's no such thing as aliens. It's all rubbish. Ah, uh, what's that? Oh, the light is too bright. <laughs> I feel dizzy. Did I land in the right place? What's that? It can't be. Hello, Earthling. I am Eco. I'm here to take over planet Earth. You're a real alien? Invasion of Earth? I thought that only happens in the movies. Such a terrifying plan, but such an adorable face. I am going to become a great K-pop artist and steal the hearts of everyone on Earth. Huh? I find K-pop so exciting. Thank you for coming. I want to stand in front of the people of Earth with that kind of charm. And I will start a big dessert company and have every Earthling try my ego made dessert. It sounds like a grand plan, but can you really make it happen? <laughs> of course I can! First of all, I can make my own avatar. With just a snap of my fingers, I can make whatever I want. Power I can up! boost my power and strength <laughs> to their maximum, and I can even do a time warp. Wow, that's so impressive. Can you guess the winning lottery numbers too? You must have great ambition. Well, let's say I can grant some kindness to you as you were the first Earthling I've met. Yep! Well? Nothing's happened yet. Uh, that's right. But let me explain. Just before, as I entered the Earth's atmosphere, was that the ozone layer? When I passed through that layer, suddenly all my superpowers disappeared. What? Well, if you can't use your superpowers, can you at least dance or sing? Nope. Uh, how about baking? Nope. I'm determined to get it done. Uh, this is not going to work. Obviously, you're not going to make it, Ego. And even though it's not really my job, I can't just sit back and watch. It's impossible to do all that at once. I guess I need to teach you about economics first. Economics? What's that? Unlike on your planet, Earth's resources are limited. Energy, time, money, and everything is limited. So people living on Earth always have to make choices. Should I study when the exam is just around the corner, or should I play video games? A person has to give up playing games to study, or give up studying to play games. What if someone quit gaming? Then they'd get better test scores. What if someone quit studying? <laughs> then they could have fun for a little while. But it definitely wouldn't boost their test scores, right? That's why I convinced myself that my test scores mattered more than temporary pleasure. So I chose to study instead of gaming. The valuable thing that I give up in order to do something else is called the opportunity cost. And what I gain from doing something is called benefit. Mm. So it's better for the benefit to outweigh the opportunity cost, right? You're right. Then you've made a rational choice. Because the criteria for this rational choice are subjective, they vary from situation to situation and from person to person. For instance, there's a huge difference in the weight of the opportunity costs when I give up playing video games during exam period versus any other time. The benefits I gain from playing video games for one hour compared to a professional gamer definitely have big differences too. So if it seems too difficult to learn dancing and singing at the same time as learning how to make desserts, then it's reasonable to choose the one with greater benefit and lower opportunity cost, right? Uh, which of the two should I choose? Oh, this is hard. It isn't easy, is it? 
Over a long period of history, people on Earth have studied how we can make the best rational choices. It must be because, unlike the planet I'm from, Earth's resources are limited, right? That's right. But the desire of people on Earth is endless. This state of insufficient resources to fulfill people's desires is called scarcity. People living on Earth need water more than diamonds. But because the search for diamonds is more difficult than for water, the scarcity of diamonds is greater. Due to this scarcity, people face a series of decisions, and we call this economic problems. For example, everyone on Earth wants to live in spacious, clean, convenient houses. However, the number of houses that meet these requirements is inadequate. It would be more difficult to find houses which are scarcer. You're right. And that's why people looking for a house have to give up some factors and consider the best choice. If you want the price of a house to be low, then you need to choose a smaller house. Likewise, if you want to keep the larger size, then you have to give up the low price. As people search for solutions to these economic problems, they produce, distribute, and consume necessary goods and services. This is called economic activity. Since I'm living here on Earth now, I guess I should get involved in economic activities. Wow, lucky me! Huh? Why? I've met a smart Earthling where I crash landed. You will tell me more about how the Earth's economy works, right? Yes? Yeah? You said yes? Thank you! You are such a wonderful Earthling. I will be indebted to you. What? Wait! No way! It's already not easy living by myself. How will I manage to take care of an alien? No. No, aliens really exist in this world. What if evil aliens destroy the Earth? Wouldn't Eagle come and save me? All right. Let's consider this as an opportunity cost for future convenience. Oh, how nice! What a perfect size this bathtub is! No! That's not a bathtub! I think my opportunity cost is too high.